Welcome to Desktop Prototyping Essentials and Framer. My name is Akram Khalid, and in this video, we'll be learning about interactions and transitions. The three prototypes we'll be creating are instant page changes, a modal animation, and finally, using Magic Motion, we'll be able to open and close our chat very smoothly. If you are watching this video from YouTube, be sure to click the link in the description below to follow along in Framer. Before we begin, make sure to switch pages in the upper left corner to follow along with the correct part of the tutorial. Interactions are a way to trigger transitions and other actions in your prototype. You can add interactions to frames, stacks, graphic layers, design components, and code components. To get things started, I do have a wallet page. I also have an investing page. We can switch to the investing page by selecting it on the layers panel and clicking command 2 or control 2 on your keyboard. You can switch to the different pages. Selecting the wallet page again, I'll do the same thing so that we can go back to the initial screen. I'll then zoom out a bit so that we can get both pages into frame. I'll then focus on the wallet page, more specifically the investing link. Once I've selected that frame, I have access to the zap icon that will allow me to create interactions. I can also hit L on the keyboard that would allow me to connect the link to the investing page. Once connected, I'll move to the top right section under interactions and I'll click on transitions. This will give me three options, which are trigger, target, and type. Selecting trigger, this will give me different options for how I want to click or interact with the link. I'll go ahead and leave it as tap. And then the target, which is what we've linked to, which is the investing page. And finally, type for the type of animation we want to occur. In our case, we want an instant transition, so we'll select instant. Now we can focus our efforts on the investing page, selecting the wallet transaction link. I'll do the exact same thing that I did earlier with the zap icon. I'll click and drag that to link to the wallet page. I'll then select transition in the top right hand side and make sure it matches exactly how I want it. And then we can select the wallet page, hit command 2 or control 2 to fit it into frame. And then in the top right hand section, let's go ahead and preview our prototype. Now when I select the investing link, it'll take me to the investing page and selecting the wallet link will take me to the wallet page. I'll go ahead and close out of our preview and then selecting the investing link, I'll select transition in the top right hand side and now specifically for the type, let's go ahead and change it from instant to fade. Let's preview now and when I select investing, you can see the transition fades in and when I select wallet, it's instant, selecting investing back, it does fade in. So you can play with the different types of animations that Framer offers, it's really up to you at the end of the day and whichever one fits your project best. A modal is a dialogue that appears on top of the main content and moves the system into a special mode requiring user interaction. Before we get started, I do want to highlight the modal frame. We have our main page visible to us, but in the layers panel I do have a modal dash explore offer frame. If we select it in the layers panel and hit command or control 2 on your keyboard, we could fit it to frame and here is how our modal looks like. Jumping back to our modal page, what we're going to do is upon clicking on the explore button, we are then going to pop up a modal to the user. Let's zoom out so that we could have the modal frame visible and what I'll do is hit L on the keyboard or selecting the zap icon, I'll create a link from the button to the modal frame. I'll then select click and in the top right hand section under interactions, I'll select transition and specifically for the type, I'll select modal. We have the option to edit the backdrop, but I'll just leave it as its default value. And then I'll select modal and hit control P or command P on the keyboard or select preview in the top right hand corner. If we go ahead and click on the explore button, what should happen is a modal should animate in. But then if we try to cancel or close the modal, it doesn't seem to work. The only way to close it right now is to select the backdrop. If we go ahead and close the preview, what I'll then do is select the cancel button and I'll create a link back towards the modal page. I'll hit L on the keyboard and create that link and select click. Then in the top right hand corner underneath intersection, what I'll then do is change the type to fade. Then clicking the modal frame and previewing. What happens next is if I click the explore button, I can now click the cancel button to close out the modal, similar to how I can click the backdrop to close the modal as well. In a magic motion transition, layers that exist on both the transition's origin and its target will animate into their new style and positions. Before we start using magic motion to build our chat, I do have a chat open frame as well as a chat closed frame. If I click on the chat open in the layers panel and hit command control 2, I will bring that into frame. 
And here we do have the final frame that we're going to animate to. I'll switch back to the chat closed frame hitting command control 2. Then what I'll do is I'll slide my canvas a bit so that I could get both frames visible. I will select the chat button frame and I'll click L on the keyboard or I can click the zap icon and drag it to the chat open frame so that I can connect it through a link. In the top right hand side underneath interactions, I'll click transition. I'll make sure my trigger is set to tap. My target is set to the chat open frame and my type is set to magic motion. I'll leave animation as spring and close that. Then I'll want to zoom things out a bit so that I could get both frames visible to me. I'll then select the close button in the chat open frame and I'll create a link back to the chat closed frame. In the top right hand side, we'll make sure that the trigger is set to tap, target is set to chat closed and the type is magic motion. Again, leaving animation as spring. We'll then close that and select the chat closed and hit command 2 or control 2 on your keyboard to fit it into frame. Then in the top right hand side, we'll select the preview option and then we'll just toggle the chat button so that we can open and close the chat. Perfect, so it works just like we want it, but we want to add some more life to it. I'll slide my view to the chat open frame, and what I'll do is select the chat button frame, and I'll add a rotation of 180 degrees. I'll then select the chat frame and copy it. You can copy using Control c or Command c then switching gears to the chat closed frame, I'll paste it here using Control or Command v once it's pasted, it's going to be on top of the chat button frame, so make sure to bring it underneath. And then selecting the chat frame, I'll hit shift with the down arrow four times, bringing it down negative 40 degrees. Then lowering the opacity, it should fade away. Finally, we can select the chat closed frame, hit command or control P, or in the top right section, click the preview button. And now when we open up the chat icon, the chat button indicator should spin in 180 degrees, and the chat frame should fade up. This marks the completion of working with interactions and transitions.